Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today, in the world of artificial intelligence, it seems like a bit of a slow news day, but let's dive into some interesting developments. OpenAI recently sent out an email with a couple of notable updates. First off, the launch of the GPT store, originally slated for now, has been pushed back to early 2024. A bit of a delay, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. Moving on to the second update, and it's quite a technical one. For those working with GPT and uploading files, there's a significant change. When you enable the code interpreter, users can now download the files you've uploaded. This applies to anything that uses code interpreter, whether it's text, Excel or similar formats. It's an important shift in how we interact with GPT. Shifting our focus, there's news from The Economist about OpenAI's investment strategy. They're changing how their investors make money. Previously, profits for investors were capped at 100 times their investment. However, starting in 2025, this cap will increase by 20% each year. This change signals a move away from their non-profit roots and ensures the capital needed for future ventures. Reflecting on an earlier note I wrote in March 2023, I speculated that OpenAI might become the first trillion dollar AI company. At that time, it seemed a bold claim, but now with a valuation nearing $100 billion and a partnership with Microsoft, it appears more and more feasible. In other AI-related news, DeepMind has been making strides with their new GNOME or Genome System, an autonomous discoverer of new materials. This could have major implications for superconductors, building materials, batteries and more. Moreover, they're exploring AI's role in controlling an electron microscope to rearrange individual atoms. It's groundbreaking work that could open doors to technologies we've only imagined. Turning our gaze to China, there's exciting news about their progress in large language models, potentially rivaling GPT-4. Remarkably, they're open sourcing these models, a move that could significantly influence the global AI landscape. Now, let's delve into some geopolitical aspects. OpenAI co-founder Sam Altman has been involved in some intriguing developments. There's been talk of fundraising efforts in the Middle East and potential partnerships with major funds in the UAE. These moves, coupled with US concerns over tech investments, underline the intricate relationship between AI development and global politics. AI isn't just a technological breakthrough, it's becoming a vital component of global strategy. So, while it might appear quiet in the AI sector, there's a lot happening beneath the surface, hinting at major shifts and developments in this rapidly evolving field. With AI taking a central role in global affairs and microchips emerging as the new essential resource, the coming years will be crucial in shaping our future. That's all for now, bringing you the latest stories where technology meets our world. Thanks for listening.